viewers myself bonful banerji once again back in the channel hospitality education ppt for you all this is your classroom beyond your natural classrooms in colleges and this is the platform where we can learn and again relearn many topics related to hospitality world and most precisely about the food production and today we have chosen a topic that is very important in our kitchen world and the gourmet world that is the art and science of salads the word salad is not uncommon to you all nowadays but salads are not just a mixture of greens they are a harmonious union of flavor textures and colors so join us as we explore the world of salads and their fascinating components let's begin what defines a salad exactly if i ask you all to define the word salad you will be probably scratching your head to give a one definite explanation for the salads because it has got multifaceted explanation that what exactly a salad is and let us try to explore these points one by one from different angle first one it can be called a dish of raw leafy green vegetables often tossed with pieces of other raw or cooked vegetables fruit cheese or other ingredients and served with a dressing this is one way of explaining another way it is a cold dish of chopped vegetables fruit meat fish eggs or other food usually prepared with a dressing such as mayonnaise this is also another way of explaining it third way to explain is that it is a food mixtures either arranged on a plate or tossed and served with a moist dressing usually consisting of or including in including greens and fourthly and finally it can be explained that it's a cold dish such as a raw greens often combined with other vegetables and toppings and served specially with dressing small pieces of food usually mixed with a dressing that is the way of explaining it so this is all how we can discuss the word salad or define the word salad now next proceed to the next how salad is termed or called or popular by the name in different countries first one is the french which is calling the salad as salad d is softly pronounced out here in spanish language it is known as ensalada in italian language it is called insalata in german it is known as salat in portuguese it is known as salada and in swedish it is called again salad where double l is used in the spelling so these are the few different names available internationally to indicate the term salad but how the name has come as for the etymology the word originated from the latin 
salata, which means salted. This is also the root of the French word salad and German salat. We can easily draw the connection that from this word salata of Latin origin, which means salt, the French word salad and German word salat is coming. It is very much connected with that word. Now, how this salad is served? It's served in various ways. Number one, as a salad course. In a very formal meal experiences, salads are sometimes served after a main course and such salads are light and refreshing in nature because after having the main course, naturally you want to refresh and it is refreshing in nature and provide a change from the heavy main course. Already, the person had so many things in the main course. So naturally to cut down the test and to take something light instead, then salad is served specially in that course as a salad course. It is a well-dressed salad greens and savory vegetables are commonly a popular choice. Now what is a traditional course? In a French traditional way of taking food is there are 17 stages. Starting from adobe, that is appetizer, ending with cafe or coffee at the end. And here you can see there is a specific place that is 11th place is there in the 17th course menu where salad is precisely served after the main dish. Main dish can be turned, taken in different ways. It can be uh, in terms of relief and you can take many things over there. Secondly, it is also served as a main course. It is also substantial enough as a main dish. Why? Because one of the bodybuilding foods such as meat, fish, egg and cheese forms the base of this kind of salads. The volume and richness of these salads are adequate to satisfy a normal appetite. Normally during the business hours, there is an international tendency that instead of having different courses, let's have a main course salad which supplement you with all your body requirements in one place. So what will happen ultimately? Consumption of time will be less. You can discuss your business things during having that. And at the same time, your your appetite will be fulfilled. Your body requirements nutritionally will be fulfilled. So salad can also be taken substantially as a main course instead of other things. And third one is, it can also be served as an accompaniment with many other main courses. Now how the salad will be classified? Let us see the structure. Salad primarily is divided into two types. One is simple salad. Before I go to the other part, let us try to understand what is called a simple salad. Simple salad is also known as a plain salad. Now these salads can be further subdivided in green salads or salad in season. That means whatever greens are available seasonally, that can be used for making these kind of salads and which is primarily served raw or partially cooked. Such salads normally use only a single kind of vegetable as a base and only one or two ingredients in small quantity as decoration or as a part of garnish. So it is a very simple way of making one main ingredient green is used with additional one or two small ingredient green also used but it has got a specific purpose either to decorate or as a part of garnish that is about the simple salad. Other one is known as compound salad. From the name compound we understand that it is not a single item it is more than one. Compound salads are more elaborate salads 
which consists of more than one ingredient. And depending on these ingredients, they can be given different category as well. And what are the categories? Let's see. We can see four categories are there. Either it is a fish based salad. And depending upon the base, it will get the name. Veggie based salads. Meat based salad. And finally, fruit based salads. So this is a total picture of classification of salad. Now let us come to the word types of salads. Internationally, most modern way, the types are also different than exactly the classifications. First one is on your screen that is tossed salads. Why the name is given tossed? Because it is tossed together. What are the good examples of this kind of salads? Caesar salad, green salad, etc. And there are many. Primary concept is tossed salads are the most common salad and are prepared by tossing the greens and garnishes such as tomatoes, onions or cucumber in a dressing. You take all the ingredients in a bowl, add some dressings and toss it. A tossed salad use leafy vegetables such as lettuce, spinach and watercress. These are all mixed together as you can see in the image on your screen. That is about the tossed salad. Second type is composed salads, which are skillfully built. Most popular example is a cob salad. Cob salad is the American garden salad. We will discuss this little later in the following slides. Let us see first what is composed salads. Compost salads are inspired and are properly composed salad tales of that inspiration. It is slightly philosophical. A compost salad is one of order and detail. It is placed in order and detail. You can see the image also. A compost salad is also built from the ground up and is carefully arranged to produce a beautifully crafted salad that your image will give you the explanation of this language I have used out here. You can see how gracefully it is arranged in order. It is creating a picture on top of the plate. And this kind of salads, compost salads, has got four different layers. And they are termed as base, body, garnish and dressing. Third one type is bound salads. Bound, the word is very clear. That means it is a bound together in a mass. Examples are tuna salad, chicken salads and there are many immense salads available. How this can be explained? Bound salad. Bound types of salads are one that is made by combining cooked meats, fish, shellfish and or legumes with a dressing and garnishes. A bound salad literally means each of the ingredients is bound together in one mass. The binding agent is usually mayonnaise based but can include a thicker vinaigrette as well. And your image is saying that it is a salad which is mixed with the mayonnaise based dressing and you can see it is all bounded together. Because of this typical appearance, it is known as bound type of salads. I hope you have understood this from the image. And the fourth one is known as farinaceous salads. From the name it is very simply clear that it is made up of starches like potatoes or pasta and etc. And what the explanation goes like? A farinaceous salad is a salad that is made with potatoes, pasta or grains. A farinaceous salad differs from a bound salad 
in that many financial salads are not bound. We can see this image out here where we can see these are example of display of farinaceous salads but it is not very similar that of the earlier one that is bound salads. Bound salads where dressing you can see it is all bounded together but here it is not exactly though the presence of dressing is clearly understood from the image. Now let us deconstruct the salads. That means the different components of salads. Those, though we have named these components earlier, but let us see out here in a descriptive way. First one is known as the base of the salad. The base may be made up of lettuce, cabbage or any other leafy vegetables. Try to understand that in the base you are going to use only the leafy vegetables. It must cover the bottom part of the salad. That means you take a plate or a bowl. First you lay the base, the leafy vegetables, whatever you want to select, lettuce, cabbage or any other green leafy vegetables as a base. The leaves must be clean and thoroughly washed because they can contain a lot of soil and insects. So you must be taking much care before putting these green leafy vegetables as a base for the salads. Preferably all the salads leaves must be washed with chlorine solution. So that will ensure that your leafy green vegetables are free of germs and insects and any kind of chemical use during their farming time. So that is about the base. Second one is body. The body comprises of the main ingredient of the salad. Actually the name of the salad also come from there is a chicken salad or the fish salad or vegetable salad or cheese salad. So you understand well that main ingredient is indicating the name. It must be proportional to the base. The body must comprise of small bite-sized pieces of the ingredients. So firstly, it, is it should be proportional. Why? You are taking a big bowl or a big salad plate where lots of greens are available and only you are putting this much your body on the center or in one side. Then appearance-wise, the excellency of the salads will be lost. So it should be very much proportionate that you will understand and the pieces of the main ingredient should be bite sized so that with a fork you can always take one bite inside your mouth. It is not that a big piece so that you have to chew it, bite it and ultimately it will be creating lots of hassle for the guests to consume. So try to make it simpler by cutting them into small pieces. The ingredients used should be should have a balance of flavor and taste. Here it should be very critical about selecting of ingredients so that the somehow the entire balance of the salad should not be lost. It will be well balanced. Flavor will be also mixed at the same time very matching and appealing and of course taste matters at the end. Third one is a garnish. Garnish word is not uncommon to you all. We all know that any dish you are serving to a guest, it should have a proper garnish and related to the main dish, whatever you are serving. Here also, it applies the same. The main purpose of a garnish is to add a eye appeal to the finished product. That is very simple and very important too. But a certain number of times, it can also be added to improve the taste of the salad. That is very important. It is not only for eye appeal, but also it improves the taste of the salad as well. Can be either a part of the body also. And remember, most importantly, it should be edible. 
and very simple by nature. And the fourth one is the dressing. What is the dressing? A dressing is served with all salads. It is used to flavor the salad, provides food value and improves the palatability and appearance. So why dressing is added? First of all, it will improve the flavor. It will also increase the food value. And also, it will improve the palatability and appearance of that particular salad you are presenting. And dressing may be in liquid or semi-liquid form. So these are the four basic components of any salad on your screen now. The next one is, let us see, we have discussed about the base and we have discussed about the grilled leafy vegetables. Let us see now some of the salad leaves used as a base. One is arugula which is papery and slightly bitter in flavor. A terrific green to be used in a salad. It can be gently braised also before putting as a base. Iceberg lettuce. This is prized for its crispiness and longevity in the refrigerator, but it is a bit short on flavor and nutrients. But it is very crunchy. And the name is given iceberg because it becomes very crispy once it is frozen or kept in the refrigerator. And it will give you a chewy texture while chewing it in your mouth. And that will definitely give you a different level of enjoyment while having this salad with iceberg. Lolo Rosso. This is another kind of lettuce. This mild tender lettuce has ruffled red edges. You can see in the picture that is the edge of the leaf is little ruffled and color wise also it very distinct. Two colors are there. One is red and other one is light green and one it is, once it is placed as a base it take the salad to a different level. And this is another one. There are many. I am showing only Few of, of those in front of you, radishio, with its beautiful coloring and slightly bitter flavor. So these are the few in front of you can be used as a salad base. Now this is the time to unveil the dressing kingdom. We have discussed about the word dressing. Now let us see what is exactly. It is a blend of oils, vinegars, herbs and seasonings that not only adds flavor but also ten tenderly coats each leaf, enhancing the salad's texture and taste. So it is a mixture. Mixture of what? Oil, vinegar, herb, seasonings. And it will be just mixed in in such a way that it will adhere to the leaves. And it will accentuate the appeal of the salad. The texture will remain crispy. And of course it will affect the taste in a positive way. There are certain key points about the dressing. First one is the variety and styles or variety of styles. This variety will change depending upon the country of origin and the style of eating, their cultures, depending on that. There are immense type of salad dressings used in this gourmet world. Number two is the base ingredients. Base ingredients are oil, base ingredients for the dressing. Remember, the word base should not be distinct, uh, mixed in with the salad components. The base ingredients for dressings will be oil, dairy products, mayonnaise, etc. I am giving you a few examples out here. Third one is the flavor and additions. What can be added in these? You can add different kind of vinegar, 
fresh herbs, some fermented product like soy sauce, different kind of nuts, fresh fruits, some other condiments, spices and some sweet elements. All these things can be added as a flavor and additional ingredients to the salads to give a different kind of height of variety. Fourth one is the texture and consistency of the dressing. It will vary. It can be a thick, it can be thin, it can be creamy, it can be light or runny as well. That will depend on the chef and the style of making the salad. By this time, we all know that salads are always with the salad dressing. So, usage of dressing, we already known to us that it is used as a salad dressing with the salads. However, point number five is saying that besides salads, it can also be used as a dip for different kind of breads and vegetables. I'll suggest you that whenever you go to uh, visit different hotels for your internship or you are fortunate enough to be present there in some exotic gathering of high profile guests in a exotic food displayed over there in the buffet you can see that this kind of dips are available very much what are the types of dressings vinaigre dressings mayonnaise based dressings and emulsified vinaigre dressings are also available. These are three types. What are the oils we can use for the dressings? There are series of oils can be used depending on the style, country of origin and their culture. Firstly, olive oil, walnut oil, Salad oil, groundnut oil, sesame oil, grapeseed oil, hazelnut oil. These are the oils we can use for different types of salad preparations, that is the dressing preparations. And different types of vinegars are also used for salads. What are those? Tarragon vinegar, balsamic vinegar. Red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar, malt vinegar, sherry vinegar, raspberry vinegar, cedar vinegar. All these vinegars can also be used in the making of different kind of dressings for salads. Out of this list, if some of the vinegars are unknown to you, have not known or only heard the name, I will suggest you that please do some reference work and know about these vinegars as well. And very interesting information you will be getting out of those. Some of the favorite salad dressings. Scissor dressing, which is a rich and creamy dressing with anchovies, garlic, lemon, parmesan cheese and a touch of Worcester sour sauce. That will give you a Caesar salad, Caesar dressing. Another one, vinaigre dressing, a very tangy and light dressing made with a combination of vinegar and oil and seasoning in the ratio of three parts of oil and one part of vinegar. That will give you the vinaigre dressing. Ranch dressing. You can see the image, a cool and creamy dressing with buttermilk, garlic, herbs and a hint of tanginess. These are all very worldwide popular dressings available. Some global salad inspirations. First one, the Greek salad made with tomatoes, cucumber, red onions, olives and feta cheese tossed in a lemon oregano dressing. Another one is the cob salads. In the beginning I have mentioned that cob salads we are going to discuss. It is the American creation featuring chicken, bacon, hard boiled eggs, avocado, 
tomatoes and blue cheese dressing is used for this kind of pub salad and next one is a cap capsi salads which is an italian classic composed of fresh mozzarella tomatoes and basil basil with olive oil and balsamic glaze the beauty of some classical salads very popular worldwide it is known available in different hotels it is also very popular to the guest that's why it is popular of course world of salads nishwa salads and fruit salads with this we come to the end of this session i believe that you have anath the information about the salads and salad dressings a few examples within the scope of this lesson beyond that if you are to study please go through your different notes different resources through internet to learn something more about the salads some good examples of salads and see the style of making those kind of salads very soon i'll come up with another one exciting lesson for you all this is your classroom where you can learn you can relearn and you can refer at any time beyond your actual class any time anywhere through your mobile through your notebook through your laptop so it is a free access and most flexible way to learn if you have liked this please don't forget to subscribe and put your valuable comments in the comment box so that it will be a piece of motivation for me and i am committed to give you the reply as early as from my side your valued comment is very important to me so with that sweet note i am ending the session for the day see you soon with another one exciting lesson till then goodbye thank you very much